You can also associate individual audio effects with objects inside of Captivate. So let's do that exactly over here. So I'm going to go over here onto the shape right over here. So let's say I'm going to bring in a shape like the cylinder right over here. So when the cylinder appears, I want a sound effect to play. Let's say for example, so I'm going to go and click on the cylinder. So it is the same for all of the objects right here, whether it is a text or uh, in the picture or so forth. So I have this object right here and then here on the right hand side, you can see that there's an option to add an audio. So I'm just going to click on add an audio right over here. And here I have an option whether to choose from library or import it out. So I'm just going to import right over here and you can see that there's various sound effects I have. So it's my Adobe Captivate sound effect as um, itself. So you have to download uh, like the extra feature right over here for this to be available. So we already looked at how to download that out right here as well uh, in the previous lesson where we went to media and we went to characters. So here you'll get the download option. So once you download that out, then everything will be available for you to use. So I'm just going to add in an audio right over here and import it out. Let's say I'm going to import uh, electronic thing. So I'm just going to open this out and you'll be able to preview your uh, audio right over here. Okay, so that's the audio effect which uh, is going to be there. So you can edit this out as well as you can see. So you can select a portion of the audio clip and you can trim it out and so forth. So very basic level of editing is what you can do right here. So I'm just going to undo that out. You can also like adjust volume so you can increase out the volume a bit press OK and you can see that the volume increases and so forth. So basic level of editing can be done right over here as well. The zooming is you can zoom in the audio wave over here so it's easier for you to work in. So once you're happy with this then just press save just like this and then the audio has been associated uh, with the cylinder right over there. So if I were to preview this you'll be able to hear the audio. Uh, to actually see how everything works like, let us open up the timeline right over here. So you can see that this is the object, the smart object, and there's the audio associated with it right over here. Let me just create a duplicate of the audio right over here by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V right over here and a duplicate has been made. So if I were to play this now, not, not much seems to have changed, but if I were to go over here and change the uh, um, appearance uh, area right over here. Let's say for example, the second object appears after one second only the second audio will play along with uh, That object right over there. So let's hear that out And that's how everything works like you can also do the same with the text as well So I'm going to go for the text right over here and then I'm going to say uh, Captivate just like this. So there you go. So I'm just going to drag this around over here and then I'm going to associate uh, an audio with this as well. So over here in options, you can see that there's add audio and I want to apply the same sound effect. So if you want to apply a new one, you have to go to import, but you can go to library as uh, electronic thing is the one that we want that well, which we already imported. So it'll be available over here. So I'm just going to press OK and press save. So that will be applied right over here as well. So once I play this out, it actually is like this now. So that's how it looks like and that's how it sounds like and that is how you can associate audio clips into individual objects inside of Adobe Captivate. So I hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.